So how does one understand decimal place values? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years now. And with decimal place values, it's a very important thing to study, not just in mathematics, but also in science, because you find yourself measuring a lot of things and measuring things as accurately as possible. So sometimes it boils down to measuring it to the nearest tenth, hundredth, or thousandth, depending on what the situation happens to be. So here's a decimal, and we're going to analyze the different decimal places up to a certain point. Suppose you have 3.761. Now, we know 3 is the whole number. 3 is the ones place here. But what we're going to be focusing on is what's afterwards. Now, the 7 is known as the tenths place. When you have a tenth of something, for each tenth that you have, you're representing 10% of something. Not a big number, but not that small of a number either. The 6 represent the hundredths place. Now you notice we go from tenths to hundredths. That's like a power of 10, but smaller, because hundredths are smaller than tenths. And whenever you have a number that's two places away from the decimal, that represents 1%, even smaller than 10%. But even smaller than that is 1, which is three places away from the decimal. This one represents the thousandths place. So notice the pattern. Tenths, hundredths, thousands. For every decimal place you go out, the smaller the number becomes. Because tenths represent 10%, hundredths represent single percents, and thousands are, in this case, is 0.1 of a percent. Very small. After the one, you have after the thousands, you have ten thousands, hundred thousands, you get smaller and smaller the further away you are from the decimal. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a glimpse as to how decimal place values work.